everybody watching the Vice Access. I'm Hill Satoshi, and just finished watching the movie uh, Knives Out Glass Onion as per tradition. You can see I'm the last one to leave this theater, so let me just head on out real fast and get started in the review. Alright, so uh, Knives Out Glass Onion. This one here is a sequel to Knives Out, which came out a few years ago. Uh, right now, it is currently playing in theaters as a sneak peek. It will be uh, premiering on Netflix, I think, December 23rd or 24th. Just confirm, because dates do change. So, overall, same as the original. Good movie. Kept me guessing all the way through. Even though, close to the end, I kind of figured out who it was, except I didn't know why. And all in all, good movie. Except that I think I saw a few little flaws in it. So I have to wait until it comes out on Netflix to rewatch it to make sure I'm, I'm correct on some of the flaws. However, solid 10 in my book. I highly recommend it when it comes out on uh, Netflix next month. Or if you can, check it out in the theaters for, for this limited release. That's all I can say about Glass Onion without giving away too much. And one thing is allergies are very important. So when you watch the movie, you'll see what I mean. And that's all I can say, folks. For now, be safe and bye. All right, folks. Uh, one little thing I want to add on for this video is that this was the last appearance of Angela Lansbury, who sadly passed away a few months ago. So it was good seeing her in one final role. <sighs> so many memories of her appearing. Well, I think one of the best memories would be uh, Beauty and the Beast, Mrs. Potts. So I'm glad she did one final film. So if anything, just go ahead and check it out just to see her small little appearance in that movie. That's all I gotta say folks. Enjoy and bye.